Finding a way to extend the shelf life of fresh tomatoes could really help the bottom line of commercial vegetable producers here in Kentucky and nationwide. A researcher at the University of Florida successfully extended a tomato's shelf life by briefly dipping them in a calcium chloride solution. UK Extension Assistant Vegetable Crop Specialist Tim Coulong is continuing that effort by adding calcium throughout the entire growing season. The researcher down at the University of Florida who had taken tomatoes harvested in the field and put them in the dunk tank and had different concentrations of calcium chloride. And he found that at certain levels of calcium chloride, it increased uh, storage capacity of these tomatoes. He got an extra couple of weeks of storage out of them. And so they approached me with the idea of, could we supply calcium during growth to improve storability of tomatoes? This research project is just beginning and requires controlled conditions to ensure the most accurate measurements. Stephen Berberich says the new greenhouse system at the University of Kentucky South Farm is ideal for such studies. Well, this is fantastic. It was a lot of work to set it up, but uh, it can be used, uh, like I said, for research because we have the multiple injector system or it can be used for demonstrations. So it's, uh, it would be real nice for work in, work in the future. The controlled research setting includes a sophisticated hanger system to help support the plant and maturing fruit. Sunlight sensors control irrigation and maintain moisture within proper levels. Bumblebees are used for pollination as well as beneficial insects to provide a chemical-free alternative to protect from pests such as aphids. Once they have some definitive answers from this experiment, Kulong says the current system can be used for examining other useful nutrients. Now that we've got the system in place and we have the injectors and everything here, uh, we can pretty much manipulate whatever nutrient we need to. Um, and something that we're looking at doing in the future is looking at potassium availability uh, in relation to ripening disorders in tomatoes. Um, that's a serious problem for growers in Kentucky. It's, it's been researched uh, fairly thoroughly, but there's still some, some areas that work can be done in. National and regional projects like this tomato research and the rapidly growing horticulture industry in Kentucky should keep the new UK controlled environment greenhouse complex filled with new projects for many years to come. For Growing Kentucky, this is Mark Eklove reporting.